What is up everyone, my name is Tickerino and welcome back to some more Tickerino Play Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we defeated the Telethia and we have our objective to go towards Earth Sea, which is somewhere up at the top of the tree. But anyway, in today's episode, uh, we're not doing that. We're going to go backtrack to old areas, mainly just Colony 9, and do quite a few questing. So I'm going to open up. We could have done a lot of stuff before we took on the Telethia and do other stuff, but as we get stronger for Earth C and yeah. Uh, there's a quest up there with the Mentor of the Lost Sun. I guess if anything we should do that with the with least Shulk in it. There's no like unique comment. I think the only person to comment on it was Ryan at the beginning of the project. But other than that, we can actually return this. Oh hello. I, I don't believe it. There's no question this is my son's armor gun and knife. He said he'd have so hard to buy them. I remember how he smiled when he changed into his new armor. I have no choice but to accept it. Nothing will bring my son back. But at least some part of him has returned to the place he grew up. For that, I'm very grateful. I'm, and I'm glad everything worked out. As well, that ends well. On behalf of my son and myself, thank you very much. Just imagine if there was a quest, like this quest had like a no, second ending. Is if you don't return the stuff to her, you actually find the son, and he was just lost. You know, he just settled down like in an area later in the game. Who knows what it would be? And you just, you know, talk to them. And that was like an old. That'd be kind of cool, but it's more impactful, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's quite a few quests. We have some in there. Uh, we have some over here. Uh, we do have the one on a goal sh a gore shore that we could do, which I want to try that one first, actually. So let's head over to there and fight that big boy monster. Which I think we can do it. I'll probably rock Shala, Melia, and do I want to? Do I want to do that? I can actually play Shala, Ryan, and Ricky because Shala's healing. Ricky's uh dot damage and of course chain attack sword drive is really really good uh, I'll try with this team and see how it works and if it doesn't work well we tried anywho today's a new day and a new recording session so that means well <laughs> more recording uh, I want to try to get up to at least episode 30 recording wise uh, which I want to get to a certain area and do all that stuff, which will probably go past 30. I think on episode 30 we're going to just hit that area, but I want to try to do all that stuff. And hopefully, well actually once we get to that the next big area, anytime the save thing pops up, I don't have to worry about cutting it out because that's exactly where I am on the first file, so it won't spoil anything new. It's pretty much why I last played the game. I played further in uh, the virtual console for Wii U. I just played the Definitive Edition. I was playing Xenoblade 2 at the same time, and I just was focused on that one. But, yep, playing our moves. We don't really need any of these. I'm just picking them up. They can be used for trading and, well, selling. I'm about to say this is a red item orb, but of course it's a red item orb. Uh, we have to fight you. Gentle Rodriguez, level 40. Two levels. Uh, we're gonna try. I thought he was level 39, actually, like in the 30s. Before we fight him, let's fight these guys to build up our chain gauge. I don't know why I did backslash when we went close. Only problem is we have no one to topple, so I actually might switch out Melia, even though as much as I enjoy playing Melia. Summon boat. Anyway, while this fight's going on, uh, I did mention in the last episode that I did start up a new job today, even though I was on the orientation, but still. I think the AI actually picked the other enemy at sleep while focusing this one, which is really good. But yeah, I went through the whole one day, it was actually fine and enjoyable. 
And, oops, that's all I want to do. So I have the next two days to myself, but then after that, it's going to be daily work, and then I probably won't have enough energy to record in the afternoon. But, not the same. Actually, no, I won't be uh, there for the afternoon. I just realized. Uh, for today, it was a different schedule. Yeah, this won't kill me now, but. But I still went through, but. One more. Yeah, starting Monday, I do pretty much the night shift. So I'll still be able to record in the morning, which actually is a lot more better. Cause it means I can do everything before I go, and then at the end of the day, come home and go to sleep. Also, I did burn myself today. Which I didn't notice until after. <laughs> just just now, actually. Well, not now, but like a few minutes before recording. Because I did touch hot things today. And it did burn, but I was like... But it didn't hurt. It was just like, I felt the heat. That's pretty much about it. Now, let's change our party real quick. I think what we want... I think I want to do this. And... I think maybe I want to actually do this. So I can do red, red. But then, uh... I won't be able to get a level 3 red. But I need someone who can heal. Which... In that case, it's only really Shala. Or should I bring Ricky? Because he also has healing and has red arts. Let's try this one, and if it doesn't work out, we'll just come back later after a few more questing. Let us go, boys! Alright, let's uh, start with this. Make sure I take the aggro. Oh my god, I did a lot of damage. He has. Oh no, I'm. I'm blinded. I can't move. Also, I want to use last stand as well because it means you won't die. Alright, let's chain attack to inflict break topple stuff. So I'm just gonna do this. I, I couldn't do much, but hey, we inflicted break. I can now inflict topple. Give that one on me. Get our thing back up. I wonder if we can actually do this. It's gonna get harder as time goes on. Alright, we can magnum charge as well. I forgot about that. Does that consume the talent age? Yes, it does. Which actually really good. Smash. Mm, I don't have anything I can do. Why can't I not hit him? I keep switching back and forth. Vision. Alright, so he's gonna hit body press and it's gonna hit multiple people. But it's only gonna bind. Okay, okay, he's just not taking damage anymore. I kinda wanna take the aggro myself, but. Okay, I wanna do this so he stays on me for a little bit. Okay, she's going off now. I want it last down. I don't know how long that lasts, but also do this so we can get war swing and then keep taking that row. Okay, she would die, but as long as I take the arrow, she'd be completely fine. Stay on me, big boy. I should wait till like the last couple of seconds so he doesn't switch aggro at the last second. Alright. Chain attack. I have one HP. Uh what do I wanna do? Okay, my turn. Uh do I wanna flip the break here? 
Oh, do I want to heal here? I actually want to break, yes. It's only rank one. Let's top one here. Shulk. Shaker Edge. We didn't get an increased uh, chance, but hey, if we, whatever, that'd be great. He's toppled. I think she's cooling off right now, so this is really good for us. I'm gonna probably keep this on for now. Because I'm low on HP, so I don't want to take aggro right now. One Shola heals me. Oh, you blocked that. No. Did it heal me? I guess I can do that. Oh, it only works on my next art. But did you heal yourself? I got nothing against that. Ooh, thank you, Shala. Another chain attack, but do I want to use it? Uh. Actually, yeah, I want to chain attack again. Going up her. Leave it to me. Uh Backslash. I'm on it. There's this metal burst. And you think it's oh so now you're about to cool off, but I can topple it at least. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We can definitely do this. Suck on this. Oh, you didn't. You did it. I mean yeah, daze it. Alright, we have one bar at least, so that means if we do end up uh, someone, if someone dies, we can revive them. I think what I want to do if I can get killed. Oh, he's almost dead. So I actually have an ideal. Alright, she has this chant. This should end him off. I can do this. And there we go. We did it. I think the first, I, when I did it the first time, um, I did this quest. I actually didn't get to do that until like I was like level 45 or something. Maybe I was just playing it very wrong. So let's go turn that quest in. Uh, I think someone got an art or something. Alright, skill tree. Uh, oh, Ryan and Charlotte got up to blue affinity. Which is really good. And someone got a new art. I think it was Shala. You got hill counter. Great to spell ether barrier that or sort of HP when attack. That could actually be really useful. I might get rid of Hill Bullet because we already have three healing arts. So having one big healing and then a group healing is better. All right, so. Oh, hey! Thumbbend's door is open now. We can actually win here. Is our draw here? Probably don't even have the affinity to do it, so it's no point in even check. Because if you have something to have done bad, you, everyone has at least one except for Shulk. Uh, change time. No, I don't want it to be night. I think I want it to be... Day. It's when, uh... Oh, wait, the kid's on the one he wants to quest. It's, uh... This... It's Sona. Oh, Sonia wants, wants it. Hi there. Can I help you with something? Hold on, this is a recipe I gave my husband before we married. This takes me back. I remember the very day I gave them to him. He said he wanted to eat my cabbage parcels every day. So I went ahead and wrote down the recipe and gave it to him. That way he can make it himself anytime he likes it, I said. He looked at me, dropped it on his knee, and then took my hand and said, I'm proposing to you, you silly. And he can poop. Cabbage parcel was his way of saying he wanted to marry me. When he... F Finished talking, I just burst out laughing. You see why Le Leana been warned 
recently, but I never forgot them. But for my own child to do this, it makes me feel like a bad parent. Thank you for telling me about it. I should have realized sooner. What's they did? I should probably start doing this with uh, Melia and this trio. Mainly because just the infinity. I think it's just based off of like well, if they don't have anything special to say, the characters would just say random things and then either one or two agree. Did it remind her of dad? Yeah, you're the best. Oh, there was some of help. Hey, Millie was big help. Thanks, I mean, thank you very much. Now I can get back to being a fan again. Quest completed. We got swimming oil. And then the Finny chart was updated. Oh, there's actually a quest over there. Where's that one? This is... Wait, what quest do you have for us? Oh, I think it's this one. Oh yeah, this quest we couldn't do because we need a three-star infinity. Oh, so we get two different quests based on which one uh, we did. I haven't to say this, but since I started spending more time with Paul, I like here, it's gotten worse. People are saying it's not like how it used to be and they can't finish it. Our home life is more fulfilled, but walks on to the dogs. It's safe to say I hit this slum. Hmm, my problem? That's a big, big problem. It's serious, life or death, mate. You know, my daughter's the most important thing in the world to me, but I can't give her a nice things if I'm not making any money. I'll be honest, I have another favor to ask you. Could you go and find me five lots of Parahex Road? It'll go great in a curry. Alright, we get the out of luck. Gear 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 The Gear Gear archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually really fun. I like the like cartoony kind of things. Which is funny, I don't like toon cards. I just think they're kind of boring. Like, the whole gimmick is that you need, a, like, the book to be, a uh, Toon World to be able to attack. And, uh, it's like playing Magic inside Poke, I mean, not Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, because they have Summoning Sickness. Like, I'm fine with Summoning Sickness and Magic, but, like, in other games, it just does, I do not enjoy it. Anyway, so if you did not, go, if you went to Route B, which is what we did, we get the Out of Luck, uh, Jiro, Jirione or something, whatever. Uh, but if you chose route A, you get pestering Pola instead. So. Oh yeah, we had to go fight some fishes. Oh, where do we get the enemies at? Uh, what's still in Frontier Village? I still have a lot of Frontier Village missions to do. Which, by hopefully doing all these quests, by the time we get back to doing stuff in Frontier Village, we can be stronger to do them. Well, mainly unique monsters. Oh yeah, and what was in the quest? And uh, call 89. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we can't do this one because we need uh, members considerably then talk. It has to be the same pink one, not pink, but uh, Bonus Legs. We have to go to Bonus Leg for that quest. Area map, Bonus Leg. And there's water over here, so it's probably... Oh yeah, it's over by this grotto over there. I think I've never seen some of those enemies. Alright, so let's go down here. Because there's another body of water here. And also it wasn't filled up on my map anyway, so... This is an area I can discover it. But it isn't. Alright, this is where the enemy is, and... Sadly, there's only one. Oh yeah, I've got to summon things. We get, okay. Do we get it? Alright, we got one and we need five. But there's a way around this. In case you don't want to fight enemies. Which is also on Bionis Lake, surprisingly. I'm like, what the heck is my thing? Over here! Every do not walk forward. Uh, an NPC that we've seen before over in this area. 
Uh, we did some quests with him uh, a few episodes ago. A few, I think, like, maybe like 10 episodes. Uh, Garugu, which I believe was over here, actually. Will actually trade it to us, which is good. Because that means we don't actually have to get it ourselves. And I believe these guys have new quests for us. I believe once you get to walk in the forest, these guys get a new quest. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I think it's either that or Aerith to see they have a new quest for us. Or maybe it's we have to get three star in this area. Garugu, let's trade that. No. Tree time. First attack plus. That's actually really cool. Uh, I think it's an. Is it a Nova trade? Yes, it's a Nova trade. What's his most cheapest thing? You. You want some winding gear? Oh. Oh. So yeah, we have to do this. Uh, three more times. I really wish you could actually just do it in. For overtrade, it makes sense. But, like, I really wish you could just get multiple in, like, one go. Like, I could just get one more and then walk back to that one area and then try for a luck. But knowing my luck, I would not get it. Right, actually, after doing this overtrade, it actually like, gave me, like, a flashback to, like, doing this quest. Because I just remember him just going, oh, 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 I'm like, oh, yeah. That's, you're the person that says that. Even though a lot of people could probably say that. All right, this quest is done, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to return to thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Area map, colony nine, commercial street. I am back. I finished your quest. It doesn't taste good anymore. Oh, I actually have random NPCs that say that. Need some juicy broccoli? I already have them. Pretty sure I was about to. I should have those. Hope it's all some help. Yeah, Melly was big help. Now all I have to do is get myself back into expert cooking mode. The better my curry, the more nice clothes I can buy Popola. Thanks for your help, guys. Quest completed. Uh, you get cork leggings, I think, for the other one. Yes, they both have no slots. Now oh, you just got... At least you leveled up. Good job. Uh, d -d 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 -d. I keep seeing that quest over there. I was like, oh, let's go turn that in, but I can't. Because, well, we can't. Uh, there's a quest up here we can do. Uh, but let's see what some of these quests are. Oh, this is Kenny Rohan. What's your quest? What is it? The crowd by the resident district bridge has thinned lately. The mysterious light which they used to gaze has vanished. But the question is, do you know why? Tell me in greater detail. So confusing, say, in a way that Ricky can understand. I can see you in the loader, but I won't feel why you should investigate yourself. The Mysterious Light by Kenny Rohan. Here, I'll pawn, show you what he can do. Oh, this a red light. Wait, what's this? You want to solve the mystery behind the Mysterious Light? Tongue. Hasn't stopped waggling since it's appeared, you know, but I haven't seen it yet. It's a ghost. Oh, I thought we had actually seen the light. I guess we have to talk to him. people. Speaking of which, I need to talk to you anyway. You want to know about the mysterious light? Is a certain? It's a fish. A fish like glows like a firefly. I want to talk to you again. Hello. My husband told you he was worried about us, and I wish he would come back home. My daughter hasn't seen father's face for so long. He's a terrible father, so you didn't have to need to hear that. Thank you for letting me know. That, I believe, yeah, changed it to near divorce. Uh, who else we talk to now? 
It's definitely not you because. Also, look at the quest. You. I keep thinking it's not one. It's this one. Mysterious light. Uh, talk to. The oh, I know where you are. Dionosis. Uh, but you're not out anymore because it's past your bedtime. Also, there's a quest. I think it's, uh. No, it's not him. But it does involve the person that's over there training. Whoops. I did it to change time. Uh, but maybe we might have a quest right over there. Nope. But there's a guy over there who trains. I think he actually trains at night. That quest line doesn't unlock until you get Ricky to join your party. The Mysterious Light quest opens up after. You, uh. Get to calling six. So it's a quest that we can do really easily. Like early in the game, but we chose to do it now. It is a resident and you're a named NPC that we did talk to already. You also have a quest line, I remember. We probably can't do it because I have to talk to a certain NPC. Oh, can you roll on? I think here you should have a, ask an extra. Expert. It's simply a lamp. It was dumb to win some breeze from the attack. Say that until the, all these are ran out. I may have been noticed, but I'm no fanciful dreamer. I owe fantasy. Auto attack stealth. Eh, not bad. Then he has another quest line for us. What is it? Which is also you have to have level 3 star affinity to do this quest line, so even if you got there, we probably should, wouldn't have been able to do it. It's so confusing to see we can get understand. Men the light throw the ether into the lake. So the ether cylinder. Oh, I think you changed two hearts. That's really good. Oh, we have to go over there. Do 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 do. Thing is, I got home this afternoon. I. I felt weird. I don't know what it was. It's like something felt off. And then, uh, now I'm all back to normal. I don't know if it's just that I don't like wearing jeans or something. And that just having jeans made me feel uncomfortable. And that's what it was. Could have been. Could have been completely random. Who knows? But hey, it's now 8 o'clock. And I'm full of energy. And that energy's gonna be gone in two hours. <laughs> Trust me, I'll probably be like dead tired. Okay, now it's actually starting to sting my burn mark. Wow. What is it? Melian's biggest and bestest. Ricky, watch Melia closely and Ricky knows. As El Harai Garen. Dismal, I pray that you can see my efforts. The lamp of a. Hey, the people with brief comfort, but nothing more. Quest completed, and that's all the stuff we can do with Kenny Roger. Roger Rohan right now. Father. Stronger. We got a new art. We got summon copy. Instantly want to put that on there. I think I want to get rid of. So I think I want to put that here. And then uh, move this over here. And do that. Uh, I just don't think I really use shadow stitching that much. Uh, what other quests we have lying? There's one right down here. And then there's one in the military district. Uh, let's do the one in the military district, I guess, if anything. Let's see, I think a few in the military district we can do. Maybe we can't do them. There's actually a lot of quests that we can do. We just need four star infinity, which I'm just going to say now we probably don't have. But if we did, that'd be quite shocking. All right. Uh, I think you want to have Shulk for Unique Comet. I can always double check. It's not like I lose anything by checking what changes or not. It's not that quest because we already did that one. I think it's this one. And unique comments come from no one, so it doesn't really matter who we have. Oh hi. 
You always show up when I, when there's something bothering me. You have no clue who the heck I am, so how does that even make any sense? If all Shulk makes sense. Don't look so worried. Although, I do have more work, and it's important as all the same. Two unidentified monsters have showed up in Tefra Cave. The Fence Force tried to eliminate them, but failed. Tell me more greater detail. Ooh, that affinity with those two. I like it. But those monsters are a lot more different than I thought. I just need you to take out one of them. But Platoon can handle the remaining one. This time, it's not just me. It's for the whole Colony 9. The young captain rises. This is actually not the quest I actually thought it was. Whoops. I'm sure the issue will be attended with haste. All right, we're getting ready with those two, and I like it. Uh, so we have defeat either the unknown monster at the Spring of Grief or Villa Lake in Tefra Cave. I think it doesn't really matter which one we do. I think it's just preference which mob you want to fight. Uh, Villa Cave, I think, is on this floor. Yeah. Alright, so we can do fight this enemy or another one. I'm just here. Might as well fight this one. Let's go with a summon copy. So we did thunder. So we, do, we have two thunders now. I don't think it gives you the second the, like added buff of using this. You just get a second copy of that. Now, the quest doesn't matter which one you do. The only difference is what they drop. So, this thing dropped these things. If you fought the other one, you would get different drops. So it's completely up to you which one you want to do. Uh, aside from that, Ryan did comment on the next quest, which I should probably start checking this beforehand to see who comments, because it would have been cool, cool to get extra dialogue. It, it doesn't change anything, it's just a comment, but A, eh, it's kind of cool. But yeah, the quest doesn't change, it's just whichever one, that one happened to be there, might as well fight it. Do, 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 do. Please don't tell me you left at this time. Nope, you're still there. I kind of forgot I had the Machina shoes on. <laughs> I think the Machina armor is cool. I I just don't like like the jungle Amazonish type oh, look, I guess. But at the same time, it's actually really cool. I hope I was some help. You want major help? You did a great job. You should have applied. Repay you when I reach my end goal. Just give me a little more time. Quest complete. Award is Flame Gear. Uh, we also actually get more affinity change with it. Uh, we just have to go talk to some NPCs if we want to. Oh hi. The good news, guys. People have started to notice all the things I've done, and now I want to take the Lieutenant Corner test. If we beat the, the Lieutenant. Colonel, I will take his place, and my dream will come true. I hope I was of some help. You could have done more help. Come on, Melia, be proud of yourself. Be proud, you say. You're correct, Shala. I'm proud of the job I did. Let's do it to celebrate. I haven't won yet. So this quest. You feeble, worthless amateur. Did you really think you could beat me? Or better? Maybe if one stopped going easy on you because you're a girl. What? You don't think I could lose, do you? I can say that's impossible, but you're, you're probably right. I don't stand a chance even if I start intense training right now. But I might better odds with a strong weapon and armor. I won! I can't believe it, I won! No, how can this be? A poison-coated sword? You cowardly wrench. That's the only way. I know the equipment I need, but none of it's ready. I thought I could still had it while I until the test, you see. I need a small, easy to use sword and strong light shield. I ordered the sword from Napon Merchant and Sotola Marsh. The shield should be laying in the Colony 6 storage area. Why? I'm sure that your issue will be attended with haste. So, this is another one of those quests that, depending on what you do, actually can outcome a lot of things. So we either help her win, or we help her lose. And, yep. Uh. 
So, uh, we, I think it, what we have to do with that quest. Uh, Captain Challenge. It's do one of the two. Getting the sword or getting the shield. So let's head out and grab them. Alright, so we're making our way down to Colony 6. So I did look into it. Because uh, I want, again, I want the best affinity. Even though I technically can't do that anymore because I kind of screwed that up. But I wanted to get the best affinity I possibly can do. And after looking at this, it really doesn't matter which route you go. Because I believe the reward is the same no matter what. I just double check to make sure that's... Yeah, the reward... Is something also... Something else I want to mention as well with this... Upon taking this quest... You actually lose 200 affinity with a... Uh, colony uh, 9. Upon completing the quest, you get the 200 back. So if you actually just got... 3 stars and you accept this quest, it can actually drop down to 2. Which is quite a, kind of funny. <laughs> But, it doesn't matter which one you choose, because the affinity between the characters are going to be the same. I, I want to cho choose the sword, I mean the shield, just because, why not, because you have to do a little bit more. With the sword, you go buy it, kill some bunnets, and then you turn it in. All this really does, actually no, I, nothing but I should have done the sword one, I believe. Because the quest you get very later in the game, and depending on which one you did for this quest, gets the... Actually, no. This is the one I want, actually. So, I can... I'm going to spoil this, because it's the reward. If you go with A, the reward for the quest that you get later is a days plus 5. And if you do B, the one that I'm doing right now, we get a topple plus 5. I think having a topple is a lot more better, in my opinion. That's just me. But yeah, this does lock you out of a certain quest. Am I going with A, actually? I think I'm going with A, actually. Because I think the sword is B and the shield is A. Huh, whichever one and I get, either one is fine. So either you want her to win honorably or win not honorably. I mean, down here. I could have sworn he was up here. Oh, hi. Also, you brought the shield. Slightly easy to use. Now I can protect myself against any attack. It's almost time for me to win the contest. The shield will see me through victory. He beat me in a single blow. Oh, I see. So that's it. What's the point of doing it all? Huh? You still here? You expect a reward? I don't want to see your face. Go away. I don't care where. You're fine. Then I'll go. I was like, what the heck is wrong with Ricky? And we complete the challenge. So, affinity update. Uh, so we have trust. Uh... Distrust and hate. If we would have done the, I think A route is this right here. A route is the sword, B route is the shield. If we would have done A, it would have been trust, hate still, and then this one would become sympathy. But when you do this one, it's what we have now. Uh, it doesn't really matter because all the affinity will change and. The affinity will be the same no matter which quest you do, so. It's one of those things where it doesn't matter. It just locks you out of one quest, but it's the same exact quest, just in a different point of view, I guess you could say. Alright, with that out of the way, 
that leaves one last quest over here. I think more to accept it, but not to completely do it. And I was gonna play as Ricky for this one. I don't know who it is. Who is the quest for? Oh wait, yeah, they're, no, they're over here. Oh, I remember this quest line. This is a completely different quest than I thought I was thinking of. Jackson. It makes me feel a bit gitchy though. Like I was wasting my time while everyone else is working hard. Well, Sister Dorothy has to go through, go on about me about it. She said that I ain't gonna have much of a future by caring like this. Hmm, a problem. That's a big, big problem. It really got me thinking. Can't go sorry for the rest of my life, but I ain't got no good for nothing. What am I supposed to do? Let's think about what to do next and make some kind of fate. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But don't you just... You don't just leave a sheep to get attacked by wolves. So sheeps are a thing, but wolves aren't. Jackson's awakening. Uh, any unique comment with this one? But the reward is really nice. And I kind of want it. Uh, oh, actually, there is a unique comment. It's Melia. Watching over me is not enough. We're in the need of your efforts, too. Believe me, I'll pay 110% into whatever job you choose. So, we have look for someone who would take Jackson on as an apprentice. So, there's two routes we can do with this quest. I think, yeah, there's now these two. There is the pretty much cook or storyteller. And... I don't know which one is better. I think they're both pretty much the same. It's just what reward you want. And I know which one I want, and I'm going to go grab that one. So let's keep on moving to our thing. So either talk to the chef, which we did something for him in this episode, which is actually funny. And... Kenny Rohan, who we also did something for. What is it? I see you're looking for a potential employer. It say, uh, says it all. <laughs> I joke. Rumors of a work travels fast and hard in the colony. It's for the boy who's always staring at the star, isn't it? This guy, I can picture it. To, it can be music. It can be poetry. This guy is like a work of art. I don't mind looking after the boy. Of course, I need something in return. How about it? Exterminate the... Tough for lizards at the Villa Lake in Tuffer Cave. Yeah, that's not that bad. We can do that. So, if you chose to go with Girona, Giriona, whatever his name, I'm going to call him uh, Gio. Let's call him Gio. Let's just go with that. Uh, no, I'm not going there. We have to go to Tuffer Cave. Uh, and Villa Lake, which is on the next floor. Uh, it's. I think it's the same thing. We have to take out these lizards. It's just to talk to a different person. The reward for going with this one with uh, Kenny Rowan is an Ether 3 gem. And if you choose to go with Geo, it's a Strength 3 gem. I'm going to go with Ether mainly because that's real. We, we just got Melia. We wanted to be stronger. Let's get some Ether gems. Again, we can craft these, so it doesn't really matter. But. It's the same. I don't think the... Uh, I'm about to say, how do you summon fl uh, flame twice? If flare does do side damage... By right, side damage, I mean, uh... Watch my god, it does do AoE, so... That's good. Tefer Lizard, I'm here. We're gonna use Thunder. You have a rifle and you had to get that close to actually shoot them. We, well, we don't have to fight you, but I yeah, might as well kill you as well. Uh, I'm trying to look at the... Trying to see the uh, affinity. The thing is, the affinity is the exact same. It's just different for who you choose. 
So it's no different than Infinity, it's just the reward. Oh, we're doing a lot of chain quests. Where is it? Oh, we're going back to calling that, and I'm like, where am I going? Oh, we're up to 53 minutes. I'll finish off this quest. Because I thought this was the uh, one of the knob on we had to do, but nope. Oh, and of course, she's left. What is I it? did it. Good work. I'll take him under my wing and make him into the best sky artist. Go ahead and tell Jackson for me. Tell him the art is boundless and like the sky itself. Oh. Are you like an off screen future child of uh, Erin and uh, Matriana, I think what the name is? Because of a storyteller and an artist, and I guess you're an artist and a storyteller? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, other way. Hi there. I'm going to be Kenny Rowan's student? You mount me into a great sky artist? That sounds amazing. Now my hobby is just going to be my job. I don't get much better than that. Honestly, I feel like that's better, because I don't know how cooking can be something new related with this guy unless you make cotton candy i guess but yeah ether up three gem i'll take it oh you have another how did you even jump off this i am confused but right i think i want to end it off there uh i think if we go to check the affinity chart now i do have the Check something. Let's go find these things. So if Dorothy's here, oh, there we go. There. We go. So now these are pupils, and then this would have changed from orange or like spiky. I don't know the colors of this. Uh, to this, and these would change from nothing to actually just making one. And if we go talk to, I believe. You, it will make an affinity between these, which is uh, a green. And uh, same thing, if we chose the yellow route, it would actually have a thing there. Uh, actually, let's go actually update this, if anything. Then we'll end off the episode because wow, we were very, very far. This is. It, it, the tasty curry's back. Oh, not updated. Hey. You saw the fireworks, right? I got to see them with my own loaded girl. Just lucky timing. You should have seen her face. Oh, she looked so happy. And the whole calling did. Heard that guy behind it called Peanut or something. Sesame? Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'll talk to you again. There you are. How come you're here so late? I've run out of curry. I only made enough for 20 plates. Sorry, mate. That's all hey. he says. It doesn't update. Alright, let's just uh, check the affinity chart real quick. I think you're just talking to him. Updates everything. Oh yeah, it's amazing because he did that. Wonderful success. Nothing with you, apparently. Talk to... I've spoken between 9 to 12. Well, it's not any of those times. Let's change it. Change time. He's back in the kitchen. Hey. So King Ron has a pupil now. He needs a real stand-up, well, not the best artist ever, sure, but his heart is in the right place. He really cares about all of us. There we go. That's a more into the Finny shot. Yay! Anyway, what that's done, done, we did a lot of quests in Colony 9. Actually, we do have a couple more we do. I think we'll spend another episode in Colony 9. Oh, you can see them run out of the house and then come over in front of Dunban's house to play. Why in front of Dunban's house? I have no clue, but we'll probably spend another episode inside Colony 9 doing some last cleanup on Quest and then head out to Colony 6. I'm not going to go Bonus Lake because I don't think there's much for us there anyway. And if anything, I'll finish off some Quest inside Machina Forest and Frontier Village and then... Head onwards to, uh, 
Earthsea. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.